واسمعي يا أمتي ما عدت أصبر أن يموت بياني شعري يراودني لأقذف جمرة مما حوى صدري أنا لست مجبولا على الخذلان أنا في يمين الشمس تشرق عزة وأنا الثريا وأنا الثريا همة وتفاهم Our dear brother Baba Ahmed has been placed in a UK prison for more than seven years. He doesn't know and many people do not know why he has been placed in incarceration for this time. We ask as Muslims and as human beings to remove any form of injustice. And what we are asking is that our brother Baba Ahmed is given the fair chance to represent himself and to face the charges that are put towards him. A number of good brothers and sisters have come together and raised an awareness about the situation and this cloud of oppression that is clouding our brother Baba Ahmed. That he's been in prison for this time and all he wants now, instead of being extradited to another country without knowing any of these charges, is to be placed in front of his peers in this country and face any charges that are brought against him. Now for us to do that, we require 100,000 signatures on an online petition. I request every brother, every sister, in fact every human being who stands for justice and wants to remove any form of injustice to stand up and sign their name on this petition so that one day they can stand in front of the Lord of the Worlds and they can say that they stood for justice. Uh, brother uh, Babar Ahmed uh, has been placed in a prison for seven years without any clear charges. And now uh, there's a call uh, for him to be extradited to America and we don't know what happened to him there. And we as Muslims, we should uh, support our brothers uh, as until now there's no charges or clear charges against him and he has a right to uh, have a fair trial and a just trial. Uh, and to re defend himself. Therefore, we should, all of us as Muslims, uh, and even those people who want to establish justice, uh, we need to, all of us, we need to sign a petition uh, for him to be trialed in this country and to defend himself. Uh, and there is an e-petition that uh, we should all, inshallah ta'ala, we should all participate in. And may Allah bless you and reward you. Well, this brother has been in prison, in prison for seven years now in UK. And this is without any charge, no conviction. Our brother Baba Rahmad was tortured and his religion was mocked. And he is suffering a lot for more than seven years now. We really need a petition. We need everyone, every Muslim, brother and sister to make his support and give his hand for backing and supporting our brother Baba Ahmed. Uh, our Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said you have to support your brother when he is oppressed and our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said the Muslim is a brother to a Muslim he doesn't oppress him he doesn't hand him over or betray him we shouldn't betray our brother Baba Ahmed. We have to give all our support to him. We have to back his case. And because of that, I urgently let you ask you all to uh, share us in the petition and to sign the petition for Baba Ahmed. We need more than 80,000 signatures so that his case will be raised in the parliament. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be with you 
if you are with your brothers. We are waiting for all the Muslims to show their straight path, their right religion, their brotherhood to our brother Babar Ahmed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, In Tansurullaha Yansurkum wa Yuthabbit Aqdam. May Allah save and support and aid and help our brother Babar Ahmed and all the Muslims who are imprisoned with no, unjust and unfair. Um, the Prophet said in an authentic hadith, لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب لأخيه ما يحب لنفسه None of you believes, none of you truly believes until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. And each time I read this hadith, there's one person that always comes to my mind. <clears throat> of course, we can think about the prophets and the companions. We hear about the examples of generosity and helping each other and the thinnest and the thickest. But what becomes more, uh, what means more to me is when I see modern examples of contemporary people we have known and people we have lived with, people we have brought up with, that they remind us of this hadith. That is something that means a lot to me. And I think Baba Ahmad is one of those people. As someone who I know uh, since my childhood, I've always known Baba Ahmad to be someone who is always there to help. And for that reason, he became like a father figure to many of the people around him in his school and in his own local community. Not because he was, not only because he was a charismatic person uh, who spoke sense to many of us, but also because he was always there to help, not only with religion, but everything else. He was the sort of person who would not only himself go out of his way to help others in anything that he needed help in, but he would encourage others to do the same. He himself would take a group of people and give them tuition for free in GCSEs or whatever they needed tuition in because he actually wanted good for them. He encouraged people to do well in, in, their, in their lives. He would get people around his house brothers and he will help them write their CVs. He will give them interview tips. He will ask them what is happening with your education, what is happening with your studies, what is happening with your work. Where are you? When are you getting married? And help people in all the different stages of their lives. One particular brother I remember, he came to me after Babur got arrested. He said, oh, subhanAllah, you know, when I wanted to go to Hajj, I just went to him and said, look, I don't know how to make Hajj and Umrah. Can you tell me how to do it? And he just got hold of an envelope and took hold of a pencil and just in, in you know, one, two, three, four, he wrote down all the steps of Hajj and Umrah. And the brother said, that was the only thing I relied on and did my Hajj uh, without any problems. And as soon as Babar got arrested, the brother instantly remembered, Oh, Babar helped me out. And this is how people remember him. When Babar got arrested, everyone started saying, Oh, I remember him. He helped me with this. He helped me with that. So this is sort of person Babar was. Now, the times have changed. And of course, the tables have turned. Now he is in need of help, and you the ones out there who can help him. And if he was out, he would be helping you, regardless whatever situation you will be in. He will go out of his way to help you. He's the sort of person, if you ask him to sacrifice everything he has for you, he will do that. The question is, now that he is in prison, almost for seven years, without charge with any crime, let alone convicted, will you stand up for him and be there for him and help him the way he helped you? You only have two options. You can either opt not to sign the petition and betray him, or you can sign the petition so that it will be known in the Day of Judgment, regardless of whether or not Barbara's appeal is successful that on the day of judgment you did your best and you did all you could even if it's just a signature so the choice is yours I made my choice 
as soon as the petition came out and I signed it either the same day or the next. Why has it taken you so long? And when will you sign the petition? Brothers, have you signed the form? Have you signed a petition? Have you signed a petition? Brothers, have you signed a petition? Signed a petition? Have you signed a petition? Have you signed a petition? Brothers, have you signed a petition?